This is Stephanie of Superstar Magazine. I'm here with Dave Free, the president of Top Dog Entertainment. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure to have you here in Amsterdam. Thank you. Or in, actually, we're in Rotterdam, Rotterdam right now. And this is your second time here, right? Uh, first time in Rotterdam, okay. uh, third time in Amsterdam. The third time? Yeah. Okay, because you were here with Ken, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Twice, yeah. yeah. When he performed at Applesap. Applesap, and we did like another festival show. Okay. A uh, good kid, Mad City, uh, really hits all the charts uh, currently, and I feel that's like a major accomplishment. And everybody's really like talking about you guys. What was your first reaction when you got those numbers back and it was selling so well? Um, it was excitement. You know, you get the numbers a little earlier, so yeah. we kind of we kind of knew where we were gonna be at. But um, I mean, it didn't it didn't really hit us until like probably days after. You know that it, it it's doing so well. I mean, it just felt like to me, it felt like we've always been succeeding. So, any step forward is a great step forward. Well, I think it's a great accomplishment. Yeah. Like yeah. all the blogs were writing about it, and yeah. everybody was keeping track of how many albums uh, he was selling. Yeah. So, yeah, congratulations. Well, thank you. The debut of uh, Kendrick Lamar got effusive praise by a lot of uh, critics. What particular thing they said stood out for you? It was so many articles, I don't even want to single any of them out without saying something about all of them. But I just, you know, I just appreciate all the blogs, all the all the websites, because I have relationships with most of these people that wrote about us. And from the beginning, a lot of them have always been supportive. Even the time periods, like, they call, even they caught on to Kendrick a little bit later. You know, as long as they've been supportive in what we're doing, I appreciate them all. Um, just, just... I would say probably, I, I would say one about one of them, I, I really appreciate the statements that Vibe made um, about uh, the Illmatic statements and um, it was another one like, the, I think it was New York Post, I think they said the album is uh, it's not, not, it's not a, um, a classic album, it's a masterpiece, you know, even things that Pharrell said, it was, it, you know, it was just, it was crazy for me, I never seen him be that receptive, people be that receptive to his craft before. Wow, well, it's a, it's a great thing. In the keynote earlier, you guys were saying that actually the work is starting now, you know, Kendrick Lamar's at this point. Um, so what do you focus on with him right now? Um, our main focus is just, uh, you know, our main focus is keeping the, the full company afloat, and that's just the brand, because the whole thing is the way we keep Kendrick relevant and, and hot and, and I guess, you know, on top is to make the people around him just as good because that's going to push him to be better and that's going to push all of them to succeed. So it's like get one out and make him successful and then just keep following the same trend, you know, with others and just hopefully, you know, we have a great follow-up project so we can continue the success. It just makes everything, everything bigger. One of them, Schoolboy, Schoolboy Q or Ab, so or Jarek is not going to let Kendrick outdo them. And that's one thing about us is... That's what makes us better. Yeah, definitely. Top Dark Entertainment signed a deal with Interscope Aftermath mm -hmm. earlier this year. How did that deal come about? Um, it was uh, Dr. Dre heard about heard about Kendrick, um, and um, he was just real persistent about getting this, a situation done with us. He Kendrick first went in, recorded on the Detox, and I don't know if that was like kind of just testing him out to see what type of artist he was, but um, he said that. You know that was, that was like, you know the way he wanted to, you know, proceed in the game. And Kendrick was his next, you know, shining star. So, so went from there, and we we structured the deal, where TDE is a, you know, is a partner in the situation, so we can control, you know, everything we need to control. And and it's been history since then. How long did it take for you to uh, get to the deal? You know, the deal you wanted. We wasn't looking for a deal. Quite honestly, we never looked for after Jarrah. Jarrah was the only situation we ever looked for with a deal for him. We was we didn't care about a deal. We were making tons of money touring, tons of money um, selling our albums independently. So and it was never in our mind to ever care about a deal. A deal came, a few deals came. We went, I literally with Kendrick. We met with everybody. Everybody wanted to sign Kendrick, but we made the you know the the choice decision. Yeah, ab absolutely. And um, what do you think made Top Dark Entertainment this successful? I think good music and leadership. We have, you know, great leadership between, you know, CEO of TDE, you know, Anthony Lee Tiffett. I, I think he, uh, 
hey, Anthony Tiffin, I think he has like just uh just a a real way of 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 connecting with his artists and connecting with his team, you know, so we you know take advantage of every situation we're handed you know he came he grew up in a he grew up in the projects, and if you know anything about the projects of Los Angeles, it's like the slums, you know what i mean it's it's not really you don't you don't have a lot, so you have to you have to make do with what you have, and we, I think that was the strongest thing: learning to do what you have and just take advantage of the things you had in front of you. Yeah. That's what leadership you guys did. and music, leadership yeah. and music, yeah. Because you've you've you guys have been working a long time together. You're really like friends from the age uh, of. Me and Kendrick have been working together since 16. That's like my brother. Me and Top have been working together almost 10 years now. It's like it's like my second pops. You know, like yeah. he really look out for me like a pops. You know, we got another member of my team, Punch. He's like a brother to me, we you know we 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 all plan to to do this together. So, yeah. Hey, and um, there are, I know that there are a lot of uh, independent artists um, or, or even labels that would like to uh, get a co-sign with a with a major name. Um, what advice would you give them? You don't need it, man. You really don't need it. You know, Kendrick was going to be successful with without without aftermath or interscope. Not saying that they didn't play a part. They definitely played a part, and I'm glad. Things are going the way they're going, but you don't have to be with a label. Every artist is not meant to be with a label. There's going to be artists that I sign that's not going to be from a label. You know what I mean? Because you, you, it's not it's not meant for everybody. For Kendrick, he's one of those guys that need to be you know pushed on a national level, and we felt like the resources we had, we wouldn't have been able to get him there just by ourselves independently. So we brought in the help that we needed, you know, to do the things that we needed. So. But it's not, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be that way, you know what I mean? We still keep an independent mind state and we, we're we going to work independently, you know, until the end. And how, how did it help uh, signing with Interscope and Aftermath? It's the distribution platforms, you know, as an independent label, you don't get, you don't, you don't get the distribution platforms that you would get as a major because they have the relationships, you know, it's like, you know who are they gonna who are they gonna look out for the guys that make them millions of dollars or the, or the new label that's coming up you know it's just product placement it's just certain things we didn't understand about the game yet and you know we had to be honest about ourselves you know you know who are the people to go to for this and then aligning yourselves with good people and taking advantage of that yeah having a good team right that's yeah, what you team. guys were saying in the keynote having a good team putting yeah. a good good team together putting a good plan together and execute yeah absolutely yeah. Are you looking to sign any new artists at this moment? Yeah, I'm looking for new artists now. My whole thing was like getting Kendrick out. Um, I want to get Ab and Schoolboy and J-Rock out and then probably get like a, comp a compilation done. And then once that's done, um, be looking for more artists. But it just has to be, it just have to, I, I look for certain things. I don't, I don't just sign anything. I'm not one of those guys who just sign a bunch of artists and try because I really devote myself to the things that I sign. So it has to be something that's, it had, they have to have that thing, and it's, it's, it's really you can't explain it. They just have to have it for you, and then you know when you see it. And once they have that, that's what I'm going for. I'm not just looking for the person that can sing really well and rap really well. So be million people that can rap. Would you sign singers too? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm look. I, I'm more interested in that than probably rap because I have enough rappers. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have four rappers. I don't, <laughs> and my rappers, I don't think I haven't really found a lot of rappers that are as good as my rappers that I have now. So. I mean, I'm looking at everything though. If I find that one that's a dope rapper, I'm gonna sign him. If he's a, if I find a dope violin player, I'm gonna sign her. If I find a dope piano player, I'm gonna sign him or her. Whoever it is, it doesn't matter. It could be a kid. If they're dope. If they're great and they have that niche, I'm gonna do it. Wow. Okay. Well, that's very good for uh, upcoming artists to know. Yeah. Um, what's the next album release we can look forward forward to? Um, my album, number no, Oh, really? <laughs> you gotta tell us something we don't know. Um, well, you produce too. I right? produce too, but yeah. my, my my project won't be done for a while. Oh, you're really gonna put something out? Yeah, I'm putting out a project. It's called it's gonna be called Urban Elevator Music. Okay. And oh, it's cool. gonna be just beats, but it's gonna be like film and beats. Well, that's too much. Too much. Are you gonna gonna rap as well? <laughs> no, hell no. <laughs> no rap. Somebody else is gonna do the rap. You will never hear me talking on one of those tracks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, it's gonna be like uh, it's gonna be like harmonies, and it's just gonna be like uh, it's, it's not so much words. I think people get too caught up in words. I want to take music back to a feeling, so that's what I'm focused on. But I'm not perfect in my sound yet, so until I'm perfect in my sound, it's, it's really just a dream at this point. Well, I'm excited to hear it. Yeah. Absolutely.
What dream do you have for the label? Man, I don't have a dream. I know, I know it's gonna happen. We gonna be the biggest ever. Period. It's not even a question of my mind. Absolutely. Um, so this is your third time here. Uh, what have you been doing here? Just smoking a little bit. You know, you can't. I can't smoke in the states too much because I don't be too busy. But you know, I come out here. It's not as legal. This is the way of the land. You have to do. You know, as the people in the land do. So. You know, I'm just chilling and just, just you know, I'm getting some work done. I'm first time to be able to answer emails without having to make phone calls at the same time. So that's pretty tight. And, um, yeah, just taking advantage of, of this time and the cold weather. Yeah, and the cold weather. It's cold here. Yeah. Yeah. In Cali, it's warmer right now, right? Uh, well, and that's cold in Cali, too, right now. Oh. But, I mean, it's not this cold. No. You know, no. Not this cold. Well, thank you very much for this interview, Dave. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. No problem. Uh,